State Parliament is in the middle of a heated debate about scrapping the Newman government's anti-bikey laws. It's the second day of long sittings for MPs after a late-night vote left some half-dressed. Alison Horn has more. A 2.30am wake-up call. Opposition MPs caught with their pants down as they rushed to the chamber for an unexpected division. Some barefoot, others in shorts, T-shirts and footy jerseys. One even forgot his shirt. The spectacle left the government in stitches. I noticed that the member for Harvey Bay appears not to be wearing a shirt. Uh, is, is that appropriate under the standing order? No, no, it's OK. Just, it's OK. Just... From one strange scene to another overseas, yesterday there was local criticism of Donald Trump. I think America can do better than having a bigoted man as their leader. But after regard, his surprise win, the, the opposition's demanding an apology. Has the Premier disciplined her Trade Minister for making such careless and intemperate comments? Will the Deputy Premier apologise to the President of the United States-elect? She wouldn't. I seek in my role as both a mother and elected representative to, to um, set a different standard, a higher standard, for my children. For my children. The Premier was a little more diplomatic. I've made it very clear that on this side of the House, we are working with the United States. Nothing is going to change. A bigger, more serious fight is still to come this evening as the government tries to overhaul the LNP's biking laws. Labor's legislation would create new offences, increase some penalties and focus on more than outlaw motorcycle gang members. It is good laws, laws that should have been in place many years ago, but for those who sought to make this more about the politics than good law. Now, there's no doubt, Madam Deputy Speaker, that our provisions had an element of shock and awe tactics about them, but they were effective and they worked. A decision will be made late into the night and proper clothing is expected. Alison Horne, ABC News, Brisbane.